Hello viewers, how you doing out there? I welcome you to Exec Graphics and Multimedia. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how you can create this particular logo using Adobe Illustrator CC. So if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, kindly do it now and click on the subscribe button and also you share the video, let other people enjoy the good tutorial I'm bringing to you live on YouTube. So let's get the tutorial started. So the first thing you have to do is that you need to create a page document of uh, 1000 pixels by 1000 pixels so having done that the next thing you have to do is to go to your tools bar then you click on your polygon tools having click on polygon tools, then you click it on your artboard area having done that a dialog box pops up like this and you click on ok all right you have your shape created in uh, press shift key and hotkey to drag it out to expand the shape all right good so now the next thing i'm going to do as far as this training is concerned is that i'm going to rotate this shape this rectangle to 180 degree something like this perfect so the next thing we are going to do as far as this training is concerned is that we need to duplicate this rectangle. Go to edit, click on copy, and go back to edit again, then click on place in front. When you click on place in front, you have to, you're going to get the duplicate. Then press shift key, hot key, and drag in to resize shape. Good, you are getting something like this. Then press shift key and click on the first rectangle then go to objects then click on group having group it this way now the next step to take is to duplicate this particular one press alt key on your keyboard and duplicate and drag to duplicate good you have it this way so the next thing i'm going to do is that i'm going to unfill everything good have to unfill this one also good now you can see the inner and the outer of the of the shape all right so the next thing i'm going to do is that i'm going to duplicate this one also press shift key on your keyboard and drag to duplicate and place it at the top good so the next thing i'm going to do now is that we are going to connect the shape all together how are we going to do that press shift key and click on the first rectangle and click on the second rectangle we have it this way press control on your keyboard and plus to zoom out the entire document so that we can see exactly how our shape look like good so everything has been set press control and minus to zoom out to zoom in the entire document just like this all right so the next thing i'm going to do is that i'm going to connect the shape to some appropriate area so go to your shell builder tools then you now look for where you want to connect something like this connect this one this way right then we connect this place also right and you connect this place also right then this place also we have to delete this place also good so the next thing we are going to do is that we need to connect this particular place like this good let's go back to our pick tools so the next thing i'm going to do now is that i'm going to pick some of the shape out of the cut out so we are going to delete this one away delete this one away good so we have our shape just like this so now the next thing i'm going to do is that i'm going to zoom out the entire document and see how perfect my shape look like so now you can see we have some of the edges that we need to, to cut out. All right. Go to your shape builder tools. Oh, 
sorry, do that. We have to remove some of the edge. Good. So I think everything is, is okay now. All right. So the next thing we are going to do now, as far as this logo is concerned, is to apply color and some other effects to our logo. All right. So now, to apply color to our logo is a very simple thing. All I'm going to do is that I'm going to copy this particular color to this particular new shape. All right. So how am I going to do that? So you go to your color picker tool, then you pick the color. Good. So we have our logo being sketched and being colored. So the next thing is that I'm going to apply a shadow to my logo. So go to your pen tools. You get to pen tools, then you begin to, to sketch with your pen tools. Do that. Do that. Set. All right. Go to your pen tools. You click on anchor point. Hard anchor point here. Anchor point here. All right. Then you close the part here. Good. So having closed the part, the next thing you are going to do now is to fill it with the color of your choice. All I'm going to do is I'm picking this color. Good. So now the next thing I'm going to do is that I'm going to duplicate this particular one. You go to edit, click on copy, go back to edit again and click on paste in front. So now this particular copy in duplicate, I'm taking it to this edge here. Right, then you right click on it. When you right click on it, and you look for transform. When you get to transform, then you look for reflect. All right, so you need to rotate to horizontal. Let's see the preview. Then vertical. All right, so once you are done, vertical 90% degree, then you click on OK. So with your arrow key. You can move it to the to the shape. All right. So now we can group everything together, and then Shift key and click on the all the objects. Go to objects, then click on group, then Shift key, Alt key, and drag to resize your logo. So far, so good. We are able to create our logo in adobe illustrator i hope you'll enjoy one or two things in this tutorial if you like this video hit the like button and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel and uh, stay tuned to the channel for more video in corel draw photoshop and adobe illustrator thank you for watching see you soon bye